Hey guys, Jacob here with ZZ Diesel. Instead of a product spotlight today, I actually have a product that I want to go over that we found an issue with uh, that comes direct from Ford. And I can't stress this nearly enough. If you don't check this, um, you're prone to failure and it's going to cause engine failure. It caused the bearings, I'm going to assume, in the bottom end of this engine here behind me to actually seize up um, and, and lock, not allowing the engine to be able to turn over anymore. So what we have here is our 6.7 liter power stroke upper engine oil pans. On my right, your left, we have the used pan that came off the truck behind us. The truck came in with a small oil leak and just needed to, to get that cleaned up so it wasn't leaking oil on the ground. On my left, your right, I've got a brand new oil pan that comes right out of the box, just as you see, direct replacement. Remove and replace is pretty much all there is to this job. And what I'm actually gonna go over with with you guys today is the issue that we had with this brand new engine oil pan uh, after we installed it on the vehicle behind us here uh, and go over some things to explain, be informative to you guys, check for these things on, with the brand new upper engine oil pans before you put them on the truck. Uh, that you're working on just to confirm uh, that this doesn't happen to you. So actually on the upper engine oil pan on a 6.7 power stroke, the oil is picked up through the oil pickup tube as you see here. It actually comes through this tube here into this galley. You would have your low pressure oil pump right here generating low pressure oil pressure. It's going to go in through this inlet hole, down this tube, into your oil cooler, it goes through a tube which crosses through this passage over to your oil filter and then back in. So that's just a brief explanation as to how the upper engine oil pan works. Uh, now I'm going to actually show you guys what happened and where we ran into a major engine failure in regards to a brand new oil pan provided by Ford. These plugs, as you see right here, are installed into both ends of the oil pan. They're pre-torched from the factory. Uh, you as a technician, even a master Ford tech, you're not supposed to take this stuff apart. You would already assume it's ready to go. It's been through quality inspection, but I'm gonna show you here what actually happened. So I'm gonna remove both of these plugs. I have them loosened up because they're very hard to get out. They take a three quarter inch Allen and you actually can barely get them apart uh, because they are torqued very heavily. So on the original oil pan that came out of this truck, I'm gonna use a tape measure because it's the only way I can actually show this to you. As you can see, I can go down to almost 23 inches before I hit the bottom where there's actually a plug that they put in after this is bored from the factory. So that one there is at 23 inches. This brand new upper oil pan, as you can see, I am only 14 inches in and hitting the bottom right now. 14 inches if I come over here to the side of this is only roughly that far down. There's how far you are. Here's where your oil cooler's at. Clearly as I showed, oil pickup tube is on that side, comes through here, in through your low pressure oil pump, down this tube, and it's supposed to go clearly to the oil cooler, but it's now deadheaded right now in this brand new oil pan from Ford. So the casting process on these are flawed. I recommend everybody checking these upper engine oil pans as soon as you get them before you install them on a vehicle, because we can only assume that Ford may not get all of these pulled until they are, uh, you know, through all of these or engine failures happen as the one that you see behind me. Problem with this is clearly that the engine is not getting oil and what happened in our case is the truck ran for about one minute before it starved the engine and it died uh, we had actually had the truck in here was getting a fuel system replacement and they found a leak and we went ahead and was replacing the oil pan at that time one would assume we thought maybe it just had some airlock in the fuel system it was going to fire right back up when we got ready to crank it again the engine didn't want to turn over led us to wonder what was going on so we took the oil filter off this engine I haven't cleaned this. You can actually still see the light film of grease that we use here in our shop to put on our O-ring so they come right off. There is not a single drop of oil that comes out of this brand new Motorcraft builder. So just check that out guys. Make sure that you're really monitoring things like this. We've sold Ford parts for years now. I've never ran into this problem. 
Uh, and we just wanted to give you guys a little information about what we ran into, hopefully save some of you other smaller shops from this happening. And uh, another quick way to do it, just so you know though too, while I'm thinking of it, is you can actually just blow air through this hole here or down here where your oil cooler would be and make sure that it flows air. Just put your hand over it and feel air, shop air pressure coming through there. That's one quick and easy check on these things that we would recommend. So if you guys ever have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Our number is 800-749-0688. Uh, we like to provide the best product uh, and support that there is out there, so don't hesitate any time and we'll get you helped out.